Welcome back. Now, you don't have to get your kids candy for Valentine's Day. Why not make them a fun game instead? Jennifer Ackerman Haywood from the Grand Rapids Press and CraftSanity.com is here to show us an easy option. And I remember, you know, when it was Valentine's Day when I was a kid, we used to just give the cards and get candy. But, like, yeah. why not do something fun? And I love, like, how you get the creative juices flowing to do something like this. Well, my kids are four and five, so they're at that age where this kind of stuff is really fun. Yeah. So what we're doing today at their parties at school, it's a little bean bag toss. So, I love it. Love and it. it starts out with just the paper heart. Okay. You know, and for the refresher course for people when you're doing your paper heart, you want to make one over there. I do. We can, we can refer people. It's been a while. Yeah, well, you just draw half of the heart. Okay. Just like I've done right here. So you fold the paper in half. Just exactly. And then, yeah. And then you it's folded in half and you cut it out. And this is, a, I mean, this is something that people probably remember this from back when they were in school making paper hearts. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you can cut that out. It's pretty good. And so the, basically the pattern is what you make. So whatever you cut out, that's what you can use for your pattern okay. for all these little bean bags. And then once you have a pattern, as you can see, I've used this one multiple times because I've pinned through it right. many times. You just put it on, and I'm using polar fleece for this. The whole project is made out of polar fleece and a little bit of felt for the front. But then what you do when you get to this point, you just cut it out. Okay, and we'll skip ahead. And so I have this doubled over. Okay. So it's folded over. Okay, so you have the double. Yep. And so then I have these pieces here. And then this is a little piece of pink felt. And that's where I'm putting the face. Okay. So cute. So, so you've got to personalize the faces yes. on each heart. And so what you can do, and to make the face, this is a water-soluble pen. When I embroider these, I kind of just go with whatever strikes me at the time. I don't okay. draw them out. But you can draw a little face on here. And this is hard to show up on the screen here, but if, what it does is, you can see this here, What you, you have a, like a line to trace. Okay. Okay, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Okay, moving ahead here. I make, I usually do a French knot for the, what, the what eyeballs. that is, is you put, you wrap your thread around your needle a couple times, couple times. and poke it back through. And then the rest of it, that's the hardest thing you're going to do on here. And you can also put X's for the eyes if you don't want to get real fancy. I can handle this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, it's easy, yeah. then you just trace that line that you made with the stitching. Okay. Okay. So you just keep doing that. This one, I did the whole face. And oh, then yeah, the last thing you want to do is you want to make sure that this piece sticks. I mean, it's, it's stationary. Okay. So I do a little stitching just to tack it on. Just around, yeah. Just around the edge, just like that. Okay. And once you have this done, you're going to put your pieces right sides together and sew right around the perimeter. Okay. So you're going to just put, pin that, sew it together, and then you're left with this. So I've sewed around the edge. and There's then still an opening though, right? still an opening. I left about a, probably an inch and a half opening. Okay. The very important thing you have to do is you have to clip the corners. or I actually clip about a quarter inch right up to the seam right before. You don't want to cut through the seam, otherwise you're going to have a hole. But so because just when like you every turn half it right inch side so. out, yeah, probably every quarter inch actually. Okay. Because when you turn it right side out, the um, heart will be very strangely shaped because those um, corners will, I mean, the, A for effort. No, yeah, the kidding. curves won't, yeah. won't turn right side out okay. very well. So just poke this. And you can use a little pencil or something to help you, but usually use my fingers. Get your little fingers in there, yeah. Yeah, so, yep, and so to make your little, and then I use rice or you yeah. can use beans. And you can use a funnel, but I kind of just like to glob it in here. And fill it, people say, oh, how much do you put in here? Well, put it in until you feel like, you know, it's, well, you still want to be able to like, you know, squish it around right. without it being like completely hard. Exactly. Because yeah. if the kids throw, happen to get hit with one of these, you don't want to be like a... Hey, there's always you know, that chance. They're kids, chance you know. Keep that in mind. <laughs> um, and then what you do is you close up. You just do a whip yeah. stitch around the edge. Okay. And then to make this, you go back to that paper heart thing. Yeah, and I look like at this, guys. I like to use newspaper for my patterns. So what the first thing I did is made a big heart, just a half of a heart. Okay. Okay. Cut that on the fold. That's going to be the red piece there. And I just kept making more. And do, you know, smaller and smaller. Right. I made the hunt, the yeah. bullseye here. That's 100 points. I made it large because these are kindergartner and preschoolers. You want everyone to feel like a winner. So right. normally that's your smallest point. I appreciate feeling like a winner even yeah. at this age. <laughs> <laughs> so what I, I kind of reversed it for this, and then okay. I just stacked those up, sewed them down. This is felt for the numbers. Another piece of polar fleece, and I put it together okay. the same way you'd put together a small one. Okay. So very cool. Yeah, and then you just and then. Aim. 100 points for me, right, yay, okay. Right. So then what is your, what's your column going on this uh, weekend? My column this week is about Amy Williams and she goes by Squirrel Mama online. Squirrel Mama, yeah, love it. and she makes some really, really cool plush toys and also um, pin cushions okay. is really her thing. So check it out in Sunday's Home and Garden. Check it out, absolutely, press. Jennifer. Thanks for being here, we appreciate it. Well, you can find more information on our website at WZZM13.com. Just click on those Take 5 links. Now, many people will hit the movies this weekend. Still ahead, we'll show you what's hot for couples, kids, and everyone in between. So stick around.